so what we're going to try and do now is get a little bit more colour coming on and what we're going to do is we're going to turn to the pink a little bit again the magenta same four colours um, I have to use a different palette because you know the other one had too many dark tones I don't want to corrupt the colour so this one's got the same colours uh, but I'm going to go slightly brighter now this doesn't mean I'm going to go for the brightest colours on the composition I'm still going from the darker end of the mid-tone and I'm building up from the dark to the light in more of a kind of methodical kind of uh, you know regimented way so you can understand how to build up colour I mean naturally if I was to paint on my own I probably wouldn't do it necessarily this structured I might go back and forth um, and I might still do that with this but I think to simplify it as best I can start with the darker tones and then we're going to go to those mid tones so we, when you look at the image again you'll look at the, sort of the, the, the next sort of tones up or probably the horizon lines those pinks on the horizon maybe in the distance maybe there's some of these colours on the sky um, we have already a mid tone which is the ground blue so we're still going to use a bit of that and then we're going to go into maybe some of the mid tones of the sand we grey up some of those areas of the sand but we are going to be using a bit more pink so what I'm going to do is my palette a bit more pink white so we're going quite bright there a little bit of blue this time so already we're a lot brighter <clears throat> I'm not going to add any black yet because I still want to keep this quite bright so again don't add too much white because then they're going to be served for the later stages of the absolute lightest tones um, but what I am going to do is we're going to sort of slightly get away from the exact colours of the picture we are going to be moving to more purpley colours pinks so I think this is a good mid-tone and to get some brightness to the image so this colour that I'm actually going to use actually in the sky there again in between the there in the distance like that. You'll notice the way I'm painting across where it's sort of side to side really loose and again what's good about that is it's still picking up on those under blue tones which we did earlier on and this pink has really been over here and don't worry about those blacks because if we can go over that we can scrape it and those blacks can come through um, so don't worry about the post as well we're just going to redefine that later this is just so you have an understanding of those mid-tones and then probably come up blue it out a little bit more so ever so slightly more purple I've just come across the palette there to give you a little bit more of a diversity of colour range and we're going to come up here maybe and create those lighter tones so it's using it in amongst that original blue so it's working in collaboration with it and again if this was a mo uh, monochrome painting you probably wouldn't go into the pinks and the gents would just stick to blue black and white that's a monochrome which is only using one color but because we're using two possibly a third if you want to do that's analogous that's where but we're still down the one end of the color wheel so we're not going to detract anything we're not going to add greens we're not going to add reds we're not going to add yellows to this we're just going to keep so you notice I'm doing these mid tones now they're not too bright but they are distinctly brighter to what we had before and they're going to go in between the clouds there <clears throat> scumbling a little bit well, so if you don't want it too dark, too light, sorry, you can press a bit lighter, less paint on your brush, that'll create less of an intensity. I want it a bit brighter down here, that's why I went in a bit darker, a bit more intense. But then, as you see, as I've gone around the top, I've scumbled it a bit more, and that's created a lesser intense impression. Or I've done that a bit more blue, and then I can, I've now got more of a purple there. And that purple's working really well with that original pink. Again, I'm diagonally coming down, creating the scores of the tops of the clouds. I'm not really a big cloud person, I must admit, this is one of the first times I've painted clouds in a long time. Um, I prefer trees and mountains, but 
probably the two be different. So again, that's worth a look really nicely. And again, I probably will use a bit of that black later on just to go back and define that slightly darker tone on the cloud. But this is really good. This is a really good mid tone. And this is balancing really well with those original blues and everything. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to come down <coughs> to the sand now. And we are going to desaturate, so we are going to use the black now. I'm going to come over to the bottom. I've used quite a lot of black there, I might not need that much. I'm going to come over and then you've got to go back into the pink and the blue. And you see that colour, it's more of a greyish tone there. That's what I want. The sand is a bit grey and we need sort of something to contrast like with the water which is going to be very pungent and strong so we are going to go for more of a greyish pink but again there's still enough white to make it a mid-tone we don't want to make it too dark and it's going to look really nice contrasting okay, that might be a little bit too murky at the end there I think. Color. So look at that, still purpley enough, not to detract away from the image, but then it stands out as the sand. Maybe use a bit of this color over here a little bit in the, in the sky. But what I did there, I just added a bit more pink and blue and I added a considerable amount of black and that's what's created that other shade of pink, the slightly duller shade. And notice when I'm painting, I'm not getting rid of that original blue, which is working as a great balance between everything. The ground is the balance and the key to holding everything together. That's a good mid tone again. We're not doing the lightest tones or the darkest tones on the sand. I might do those highlights later, but I've done the mid tone, which is predominantly mid tone on the sand. And what I'm going to do is bring in a slightly lighter tone the water, the ripple water there. And what's good is again, I've said this before, when you're working now with this kind of tone monochrome, you can keep using the same palette or only a couple of palettes and working on top of each other and it's not corrupting your colour palette too much because they're all very similar but those lighter tones here coming on the water there rippling up some of those lighter tones on here not going too light still keeping a balance and getting more of an intense pink. But I think the most contrasted, uh, saturated tones on the whole composition are the water. Um, so I think going with this colour, a little strong magenta. So we have officially left the, the colour palette of the original image, which is good because if you look at the original image, you've got lots of maybe subtle um, kind of phthalo blues and maybe some turquoises in there, and that's going to go off to a green. We don't want that. We're just going to keep simple. 